I had a customer with a question about how to eliminate a hole on a thumb or finger area when you're installing a different webbing. So say you have a trapeze web and you want to turn it into an H web. Um, well, there's really only one way to eliminate that hole and that, that is to fill it in um, by using your lace to uh, cover up the fact that there is a hole there that's not really doing anything anymore. Um, I'll show you how to do that pretty quickly just using our threading tool and a short piece of lace on an old glove that I have and this is just for display just so you can get an idea of how to do it. So I'll show you how to do that real quickly. Okay, we have our glove here and you notice there's a series of holes all along the inside of the finger and the same thing with the thumb. Okay, now I'm using just, um, this is actually one of my patterns, but I'm using this as an example of how we're going to eliminate a hole. We're actually going to eliminate the third hole, so if you count from the tip, one, two, three, we're going to eliminate this hole from being used. So like if you were going to have to skip it, and put an H web in, the next hole you use would actually be the next one down and this one would just be blank. And for, um, for looks we don't want to just leave a hole there so that we're going to fill it in. So basically when you lace the top end, okay, you run it through with your lacer. It's going to go into that top hole, the second hole, get it lined up okay now instead of going underneath and to the tip like you normally would we're going to actually go down to that hole we're eliminating okay push your threader through it make sure you're all lined up not twisted okay so you want your bottom end to look like it's supposed to like so. Now, you got this coming out of the hole, you're actually going to go right back into that same hole. Make sure that your lace doesn't get a twist in it. You want it to be straight. Okay. And this is very similar to threading this part where you go up and through and then twist and then back through. Okay. So now you do go to the tip now. and then take it through the top end. And this is how it looks when you're done. Okay, so that hole is filled in now. And on the inside, it's filled in. And when you have your other lace coming through here, it'll just look like it's being used. So that's how you fill it in to make it more aesthetically pleasing, looks nice on the glove, and you don't just have these empty holes here. If you have any other questions, email me, russ at americangloverepair.com, and I'll answer your questions if you're having any trouble. Um, if you need me to post a video to show you how to do something, I can do that as well. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.